Episode number one of Who's Better. In this episode, we will discuss Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking. First, let's discuss Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was born in Ulm, the kingdom of Württemberg, in the German Empire, on the 14th of March, 1879, to a regular family. One year later, they moved to Munich. The Einstein family was Jewish, but Einstein went to a Catholic school. He was later transferred to the Lutbull Gymnasium to get an education for seven years. Albert Einstein had hobbies, such as sailing, making card houses, and playing the violin. He also grew to like smoking, and said that he believed that pipe smoking contributes to a somewhat calm and objective judgment in all human affairs. Einstein's interest in science began when at the age of five, his father showed him a pocket compass. Einstein was fascinated by why the needle moved, and further wanted to satisfy his interest in science any way he could. A Jewish medical student, Max Talmi, who came to live with the Einstein family, also brought Einstein magazines about mathematics and physics to read. Albert Einstein did not do badly in school in mathematics and physics classes, but he did do badly in most other classes. Einstein thought that schools were a bad way to learn and that the spirit of learning was lost on strict teaching. After he graduated from school, Einstein went on to the Swiss Federal Polytechnic Institute and graduated in mathematics and physics with exceptional grades. After his graduation, Einstein wanted a job as a teacher, but he could not find one. His friend's dad helped him get a job at a patent office. At the patent office, Einstein saw a lot of work about transmission of electric signals and electrical mechanical synchronization of time, which led partly to his thought experiments and contributed to how he actually thought about them. Einstein also started a discussion group with a couple of friends he met in Berlin. They discussed philosophy, which in part led to Einstein's philosophical outlook on life. In 1901, Einstein had written a paper discussing capillary phenomena which had gotten published in the newspaper. Later, in 1905, he finished his thesis on it with a friend and got a PhD in physics from the University of Zurich. In 1908, Einstein was appointed leading lecturer at the University of Bern. He also became a full professor at Karl Ferdinand University in Prague, the director of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Physics, a professor at the Humboldt University of Berlin, a member of the Prussian Academy of Sciences, and president of the German Physical Society. Albert Einstein worked on many topics of science and published more than 200 papers about his research. His fame brought him many medals, such as the Nobel Prize in Physics, the Matteucci Medal, the Cobley Medal, and the Max Planck Medal. He also became Time Magazine's Person of the Century. He traveled to America and stayed there, eventually helping to start the Manhattan Project and the creation of the first nuclear bomb. He died on the 18th of April in 1955. Now let's discuss Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking was born in Oxford on the 8th of January in 1942 and started attending school when he was 8. In school, he was an ordinary student, but when he went to University College in Oxford where he studied physics, his physics tutor saw that if Hawking knew something could be done, he would do it without any help. At the university college, Stephen Hawking did not learn a lot of new things. He was usually bored in class, but he could answer all of the questions. He ended up having an oral test and got his BA degree in 1962. He then went to Trinity Hall in Cambridge for graduate work. While he was at the Trinity Hall, he began developing amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, but with the help of a doctor, the disease stabilized and he finished his PhD paper in time to graduate in 1966. In 1970, him and his friend Roger Penrose showed that if the universe obeys general relativity, then it must have started out as a singularity or a point with infinite mass. Both Hawking and Penrose were awarded the Adams Prize for their work on the beginning of the universe. Hawking then published a book with George Ellis called The Large-Scale Structure of Space-Time, which included his works with Roger Penrose on the singularity of the universe. 
Hawking also proposed the laws of black hole mechanics and the idea of Hawking radiation, which got him even more recognition among the scientific community and all over the world. For his contributions to science, he received the Eddington Medal, the Hughes Medal of the Royal Society, the Albert Einstein Medal, the Franklin Medal, the Gold Medal of the Royal Astronomical Society, the Wolf Prize in Physics, and many more. He also got a museum named after him, the Stephen W. Hawking Science Museum, located in San Salvador, El Salvador, and a statue in his honor carved by Ian Walters. Both of these scientists have contributed greatly to modern science and have both gotten worldwide recognition among scientists and non-scientific community alike. The result is a tie. If you like this documentary, subscribe for more cool videos.